Sky Gazers, you are in for a treat, not just tonight, but possibly over the next few months. We got a little bit of a preview last yeah. night. It was something else. Uh, Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing explains. It's time for another full moon. Yes, I know it happens every month, but if you look closely, this one might appear just a little bit different. No, I'll explain in a moment, but we do have to start this conversation with the moon's orbit around the Earth. So the orbit isn't actually a perfect circle, so there are times when the moon is actually slightly closer to the Earth. When this happens, it's called perigee. Perigee this month occurs in just a few days, on Wednesday, August 21st. So that brings us back to the full moon tonight. Because it's full when it's almost at its closest point to Earth, it is called a supermoon. This supermoon will only look about 7% bigger, but it will be about 30% brighter. But the August supermoon is actually the first of four in a row. So in addition to tonight's supermoon, September, October, and November's moons will all appear slightly larger and brighter as they will all occur near the closest point to the Earth. So again, have realistic expectations. You can see in this example, supermoons are only a little bit larger than average, but even a slightly larger full moon is still really cool to see. The full moon rises tonight around 8.15, and fortunately, we have three more chances to see one after tonight. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing.